6,805 pounds. This is a Cherokee 255 rear ramp RR model here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. If uh, you got a half ton pickup and you want to go fifth wheel toy hauling, she is about the only game in town. If you'd like to see if we have one in stock and available, it's very simple. You're always welcome to contact our guys here. But if you're not ready to, the, the, you're not at the stage you're, you know, ready to talk to somebody, not a problem. Because we publish all that information right online where it's easy to access. The link in the video description will take you to our website. It says check for price and availability. You can check that to check for price and availability. It's very simple, obviously. Um, the uh, On our website there, you may notice that we actually do publish figures and we don't do hidden dealer fees. So that'll just give you an easier idea of where we're at. You see that little propane quick connect? That's something all Cherokee and Gray Wolf models have. Um, the, uh, the RR series of Cherokees, mostly found in the Grey Wolves, but they're expanding into the Cherokees now. They're just continuously increasing in popularity. Because not everybody needs that big, giant, don't get me wrong, beautiful, but heavy, expensive, uh, you know, Keystone Fusion Impact or like uh, Jayco Talon or Seismic. You know, we carry a lot of different brands of toy haulers here, but very few people build a smaller comfortable little thing like this easy towing little no slide set them up get them up kind of job now this it's deceptive though because you're not really like buying down in the market this is a stick built type trailer meaning wood skeleton but it's also extremely well equipped for its category and case in point it actually has a lot of equipment you typically find only on your bigger laminated units and we'll touch on that mostly as we get inside the exterior by design is very rustic very simple but when you start looking at it really closely you're like holy cow there's a lot going on here starts up front with this fully automotive painted nose cap and it's not a half cap it's a full cap and that's that's a big expensive item that they're putting on these but what a look that it has too what i like about it is a full cap wraps around the roof line a little bit the roof doesn't come down to meet it so if the cap was only this big that'd be a half cap but that would mean that you have a seam in an area right here that headwinds and and rains and and weather and stuff is just gonna eat alive well they've protected that seam now um the uh you do have a, a quick uh plug port for a portable solar pack or whatever you want to call it you saw the big expansive front storage compartment this is an area where they have done some significant improving over uh, previous Cherokee fifth wheel generations. They really lacked in front storage. This one does not. Full outside utility shower with hot and cold water. And you may have noticed when I looked at that um, uh, da -da -da -da, gas grill quick connect, it does have enclosed holding tanks, which is nice. Another neat thing they're doing right here, it's easy to miss, not a little thing, but a little, th or, pardon me, not a big thing, but little things add up, is they actually have a nice little sewer hose caddy hooked right on the underbelly here, so that, you know, it's even less mixture or potential cross-contamination of storage that you have to worry about. Now, this right here is the most significant update on this as compared to previous generations. The 255 has been around for a couple seasons now, but what they've done with this is they've included now the patio party deck uh, to give you that, like, I mean, you always had the floating picnic table, but if it rained or if the grass was wet, you know, you're, you're always, your feet were always getting wet, your stuff was getting wet. Well, now, whether you're looking for just a more private, exclusive patio experience, or if what you're looking for is to get up off the wet ground, you are all set. You can drop that door, set it and forget it, and have a good time. Uh, the uh, power awning does have LED lighting. Even the speakers are backlit, which is kind of cool. And uh, speakers are also on each side of that uh, outside TV hookup area. Now your ramp back here, this is 3,000 pound rated or 1,500 pounds in the up uh, park position right now, or the ramp, or not ramp, but uh, patio. That's the word I'm looking for. The other P word, not park, but patio position. I've done too many videos today and I'm starting to trip over my words, something fierce. The stable steps. This is again something you find on these big luxury fifth wheels. And here you find it on every single thing in the Cherokee family. Whether it's uh, from the little bitty wolf pups to the gray wolves to the Cherokee trailers all the way up here to their Cherokee fifth wheels. The feet are adjustable. And what's nice is uh, the feet support your weight. So even without the stabilizers down in the back, I can jump, I mean literally jump on these steps and the trailer doesn't rock and roll at all because they're doing the heavy lifting for the chassis. It's not getting uh, rocked sideways. Like all Cherokee family RVs, our entry doors are friction hinged so they're not flying open in the breeze. They're going to catch themselves nice and easy. Um, 
I think we've pretty much covered the outside. Let me back up and take a quick look at everything. Your solar prep is up there by the nose, which is an interesting spot for it, but I, I suppose it works. It's been there for years. If it wasn't working, they would have moved it by now is kind of the, the way that I look at it. Yeah, I think we're good. Let's take a hop up on that tailgate. What do you say? So while you're traveling, you're going to take these two little benches and probably fold them up against the wall to get them out of the way so that you can uh, load your bikes, your ATVs, whatever in here. Now, not having a slide is very advantageous for big stuff because it makes it much easier to get in here. And you can fit your big side-by-sides up be uh, beside this kitchen. They purposely built it that way. So I've left one bench down. I even left one of the uh, blackout window shades on there so you can kind of get an idea what those are doing for you. Total blackout privacy. Um, the uh, table that goes between these two benches, it can be fold down to be used as a uh, as a sleeper. You can float it back uh, as a picnic table. You can take it uh, under the awning like a, uh, a little outside picnic type station. Now what's nice is whether it's the tabletop, your kitchen countertops, all the tops are sealed edge. So water is not going to penetrate into this and cause sponging and swelling issues. You're going to have to really screw it up for that to happen. I also love the very mobile, uh, simple folding legs. You know what? They're not fancy, but by God, they work like a charm. And I'll take function over fashion every day of the week. Something's got to function first. It can look good second. Now you may have noticed that's dovetailed down there, and there's like no carpeting in here. Uh, a little bit in the bedroom just to keep your feet from getting chilly if you use the bathroom at night. So it's very easy to clean. Um, the uh, tie downs uh, go all the way to the stairwell there and to that big giant pantry we'll see in a minute. So uh, I mean, you're, you're, there's no shortage of tie downs in this thing. You have plenty of room to keep things locked down. Your kitchen over here. It's, it's a little small looking, but it's actually extremely impressive on the storage capacity. Uh, so, I've done a couple things here. Let's start with the countertop. I mentioned that's thermal foil, it's pressed membrane. You've got that big kitchen breeze window right there, and that is directly across from this giant scenic viewing window in the living area for tons of airflow. But more uh, back to this here, um, you've got a, a big stainless radius sink, and I like that it's a radius stainless sink instead of a uh, like a cornered sink. The cornered sinks, they look super neat. Don't get me wrong, they look super, super cool. But it's a little hard to kind of scrub out and clean out the corners of those things. The radius sinks are very simple. Now, you've got a flush mount sink cover right here that will fit on there and make a total flush countertop. And that, in conjunction with your stovetop over here, gives you excellent prep space. Now, at night, you notice uh, the, the stove knobs are actually backlit. So they give you a nice little navigation light. They give you a reference point so you're not banging your shins into things. Dual plywood full extension drawers here on, on ball bearing glides round out the kitchen area until, that is, we get to a, just a Goliath load of overhead cabinet storage here. This has s more cabinet storage capacity than so many things I've seen. Refrigerators hiding behind that open door there, but additional storage above it. Now, yeah, you're gonna need a two or three stepper to get to some of these, but it's there. They didn't waste it. They didn't throw it away. Now, this looks very much like the uh, the old foam brick print walls they were using, but that's actually a printed wall uh, board. So that's a, a Luan wall board with just a very high definition print on it. And even when I say that, it, when people are here at the dealership, it's funny how many people walk up to it, they go, really? And like, they're almost afraid to touch it. Like it's some magical looking glass and Alice is gonna pop through and rip you into the land of whatever. Uh, well, you know, it's just Luan, but it looks great. now. This is an area that no picture or video seems to give very good justice to. It's like a big, effective, like, walk-in closet right here. But it's also just a ridiculously sized pantry. This is exceptional storage right here. This is very easy to get to. But it's also very nice that, like, it really defines kitchen space because you can keep your easy access mac and cheesy type stuff away from the stuff that may kind of bleed into garage space a little bit, you know? Speaking of which, they really didn't waste an ounce of the overhead storage here, and that fan is something I want to talk about. You see ceiling fans in a lot of RVs. That's not the first time it's ever been done, but it is 12 volt, and that is uncommon. So if you are off the beaten path, and maybe you get one of those solar portable power pack things from us here at Halet RV that we keep on the shelf, well, you can keep this thing running when you're not plugged into park power and keep some nice airflow going. So between that, 
and these cross breeze windows I already talked about, and even just rolling down the, the, the rear tent screen wall, I haven't really talked about that. This has one of those little drop down walls in the back here, that if you want to turn the whole thing into a rolling three seasons room, you can do that. You can really have a good time in this. Uh, hop it upstairs here. I like that. Just just pure light window. That's just there just so that, you know, you feel comfortable in here. The bathroom area. Same type of countertop material. Same tile backsplash even as the kitchen of, uh, of any Cherokee. Plenty of floor space in here to actually get dressed, which is really nice. Um, the uh, medicine cabinet in this is huge. It is huge. So, uh, you know, you're never going to have to worry about that thing overflowing. We also have a nice big adult size sink here. The shower, additionally, is a split open easy entry shower. So you don't have to deal with walking around the door. And if I swing around here real quick, you'll find the reason. People say uh, sometimes, like, well, are, are, they, are they ignorant? Do they not know how to measure and cut a door properly? And it's not that at all. This is done intentionally. Because they're using a whole house ventilating fan, not just a bathroom ventilating fan. So... Upstairs here, especially, when you're sleeping in the private bedroom on the other side of this wall, we, our human bodies, when we breathe, when we exist, generate a ton of heat. So the heat's going to go up, and then this fan pulls a six mile an hour breeze out. You're going to get a nice cooling breeze through your bedroom windows all night while exhausting hot air out of here. Now combine that with the, the ceiling fan in the living room and you got yourself a heck of a recipe for some awesome comfortable airflow and good nights. You know, spring uh, evenings and fall mornings and stuff, man, that makes for good sleeping. The bed is easy lift. There is storage below it and you can see that it doesn't have that big step up all the way around the bed. They wait until the very last minute to do that little kick up there for the, the front pass-through storage. Now, um, both sides of the bed have both household and USB outlets, and you'll actually find more USB outlets in the kitchen by those folding benches all over the place. They are USB uh, all over the place in the Cherokee RVs, which I'm happy for. The full-length hanging closets give you maximum storage capacity. You can always put little shelf organizers in there if you want. And speaking of a shelf, right behind the headboard, they actually include just an additional set of household outlets right up there. So I don't know if that's going to be CPAP machines for you or just extra phone chargers or whatever. If you choose to go ahead and add a TV to something like this, you do have bedroom uh, capacity for that. You have inside outside living room or uh, you know under the awning awning capacity or TV capacity. Too many videos. I've done too many videos today. I, I sound like an idiot, and I, I just, I gotta wrap it up here, guys. I'm starting to really sound like a complete buffoon. <laughs> but maybe you enjoy that. I don't know. Uh, so take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone. Have a good time.